Hello, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on for you for March 2024. I was shuffling. This card already came out. Three of Ariel. You're going to be studying something. You're going to be studying how someone else approaches their work, maybe teaming up with them. Uh, I feel like this is some help coming forward. Let's get to the rest of the story. Okay, Nine of Raphael. If you guys have been watching for your sun, moon, and rising signs, you might be seeing this Nine of Raphael popping up a lot. We'll take it. It's the wish fulfillment card, honey. Strength. Okay. King of Gabriel. Knight of Raphael. All right. Okay. This, I'm not going to lie, this has a little bit of a jumbled feeling about it. If you've been looking for a job and you've been putting your resume out there and you're not hearing anything, this is like hearing from like two jobs at once. And now you have to kind of figure out, um, what am I going to do? <laughs> right? like, how am I going to do this? Or this can be a little conflicted between potential love partners. I'll explain why here in a second. For some of you, you might have someone that you have a great physical connection with. King of Gabriel. And maybe this is someone who's a little bit older who has a little bit of power. And then there's somebody who's just romantic and young and vibrant and just so fun, right? That's a potential for some of you. Obviously, these are general readings. If you want a personal reading, go to angelsouls444.com. I can look at your question, bring through angelic messaging just for you. Now, those are standard readings. Those get done by you submitting a form. I record it. I send it to you. That's how you get your service. On occasion, I can take a couple of live reading sessions over Zoom. You must respect the time. If you pay for a half hour, you're getting a half hour. If you pay for an hour, you're getting an hour. Okay? So be mindful of that. Also, I have courses. Same kind of deal. If you want one of those, how to connect with your angels, angel mediumship, or how to read angel oracle cards, email me. For live sessions, email me. Angelsouls444 at gmail.com. Can I just tell you, uh, my nose is itching like, like mad. Okay. Now listen, it could be allergies. Sure. But like, I had like a nose attack just now. It was like, like weird. I don't know. But if you've been watching me for a while, I do get face tingles. It's a weird thing that happens when I'm doing readings. I can't explain it. I don't know, but that just happened. I just wanted you to know. All right. So back to your jumbled crazy March 2024. I don't even know what to tell y'all. I'll go through the cards here in a second, but overall it's, hey Scorpio, I want to offer you this job. Hey Scorpio, I love you. Hey Scorpio, um, do you want to go on a date again? Because I really love spending time with you. And you're like, yeah, but I just had this one dude tell me or someone tell me that they love me. I don't know what to do about this. It's all of the things that have been blocked, a boulder right in the middle, the boulder's out of the way now and here comes everything. They're saying keep a sense of humor this month. Keep a sense of humor. <laughs> These could be things that you've been working on for years. For years. And somewhere in you, you had it built up to it's never going to happen. It's just not in the cards, right? The cards. Um, for me, no one believes in me. That's what this three of Ariel is kind of making me feel like. Someone does come forward and believe in you. But again, I'll read all the cards here in a second. The strength that you're going to have to have is it's my, it might have been a while since you've had this much attention on you. Like maybe you've just kind of gotten used to going through the motions, just living day to day, just doing your thing. And then all of a sudden, boom, you're out in the spotlight. You better figure it out kind of thing. So let's break down these cards. So three of Ariel, do what you love, a time of great personal growth. Okay, in your career or artistic endeavors, working with others in a cooperative manner. So if you are somebody you have believed for a very long time, you have to go it alone. That's the only way to get things done. You got to, if you want it done right, you got to do it yourself kind of thing. Okay, more face tingles. Love that. Love that for my makeup. Okay, yeah, that's great. Whatever. <laughs> but this is someone... 
I feel for you guys who has a better way of doing something. So someone might be coming in uh, who, like this is what they do. The thing that you're intimidated by, it's what they do, right? So this might be a manager, it could be an agent, it could be a lawyer, it could be an accountant, it could be someone like that. Or just someone who has more experience in your field who comes in and says, oh, there's a quick solution to that. Here it is. <laughs> right? Or don't worry about that. We'll team up and I will handle that. I'll take care of all that for you. And it's like, <laughs> yes, I don't have to do that. <laughs> Fantastic. I know that would be my wish fulfillment. So Nine of Raphael, make a wish. Dreams become reality, a joyful time of life. Like this has just been coming up for so many people. So there's something lifting here in March. Now that doesn't, you know, we're talking about individuals here. We're not talking about out in the world. I'm not promising anything about the world here. Okay. But this is a good opportunity, a realization. It's a step in the right direction. And, and it's more than anything. It's something that has held you up. Because you were intimidated by it. That's been a big theme too. Um, you just didn't have the answers. And now for you guys, it's like your phone doesn't stop ringing. Your phone doesn't stop ringing. You might get a couple of emails that really, I, I feel specifically emails that shock you. That shock you. It could be, I don't know, for some of you, I don't know, with these two dudes over here, these guys, okay, somebody sent an email, be like, I'm so sorry, I didn't, but I know about this thing that you might be interested in, hey, if it's safe to get the opportunity, grab the opportunity, you can say, hey, thanks, thanks, but if they were like toxic before, you don't have to go back into it, use your discretion, okay, let's talk about strength, the number 11, something is elevating you, this month something is expanding you you're learning your power you're learning that you can manifest things okay this circuit to aerial so this could be more financial abundance coming in seeing where something in your life needs to stop okay bad habits need to stop um what takes your energy right if you're somebody who scrolls a lot on social media you might go, you know what, maybe I should stop this and go for a walk. <laughs> maybe I should do something like that. You know, th these kinds of things, it's showing you where to redirect your energy, where it's going to have the most flow for one, but where it can return um, something quite nice for you. And this says strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence, forgiveness. Again, I'm sorry, just in this, just... Just in this particular, these were like people. These are people. These are men, okay? Sometimes we go, oh, don't worry about gender, maybe not. These are men, okay? These are men for y'all. Let me tell you about them. Knight of Raphael, romantic, dramatic, poetic, introspective, committed romantic relationships, being swept off your feet, situations or topics that make your heart flutter. People are fighting for your attention this, this month. In one way, either in career, they want you for a special project, they want your help on something. This could be friends who are like, hey, but I wanted you to volunteer over here with me, or no, I wanted to spend time with you. Um, or love partners, love partners coming in, or potential love partners. Did I say at the top of this reading that it's jumbled and it's sort of like, eh, you know, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so there, there's your knight in shining armor sweeping you off your feet. Or this could be a younger employer who comes in. Um, lots of young entrepreneurs out there who come in and say, hey, I could definitely use your expertise. Or it could be love. Then we've got the king. Let's talk about this guy. Okay, king of Gabriel, generous, inspirational, dramatic, driven. Keep your eyes on the big picture. Leave the details to others. Experience that leads to success, genuine concern for others. This, just in this reading, somebody says, isn't that how you read that card? Calm down, okay? <laughs> We're doing this with angel guidance, okay? This is someone who may have taken advantage of you at one point. 
because, and there's no excuse for bad behavior, but they may have taken advantage of you at some point um, because they just weren't being considerate. They weren't being aware of what their actions were doing to someone else, okay? They may be coming back around and saying, hey, uh, be careful with this. Please be careful. Don't go back into a toxic situation. But this person might be coming back around going, hey, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, I know I was a jerk, but I'm doing this thing. Do you want to help me? Or I know this person. Do you want to meet them? Someone who can help you. It could, it could be that. Um, or more than anything, when I was reading that, it felt like someone in power comes and gives you a leg up. Let me, let me tell you about this. Because I, yeah, there, there's this. You're working in collaboration with somebody. But it might be the king who introduces you. Right? If you've been looking, let's say you're an actor. You've been looking for an agent for forever. And then someone you know or someone comes along, someone you work with. Like they don't really have anything to do with that. But they happen to be friends with an agent. And they say, hey, you know, I can let them know that you're looking for, for representation or, you know, something along those lines. But this is definitely skipping the line. Yeah, it's skipping the line. And I want to really drive home. This is not like, haha, I knew I was above everybody else. I'm above standing in line. No, you've worked hard. This is only for the people who have worked exceptionally hard. And you just can't catch a break. Think of it as all the times that there were these little injustices, right? All these things that were kind of unfair. All of a sudden, it's like the universe is trying to make it up to you and say, okay, you get to skip ahead. I am totally, I probably should have gotten a vision of shoots and ladders, but I'm thinking of Candyland. You know, when you get to like, what is it? The Great Mountain or Rainbow Mountain or something, you get to go right on up that's what you're doing. You landed in the right spot with your colorful gingerbread man. What color gingerbread man would you always choose? Leave it in the comments below. But someone's giving you a leg up. Someone is helping you move forward. But it's well-deserved. It's well-deserved. Now, for those of you out there who haven't done much of the work, and you're like, oh, I'm going to totally take advantage of this. You're going to fall on your face. You can't lie to the universe. You just can't, okay? More than anything, though, this would be people who have, it's your turn to have a break. Definitely, it's your turn, okay? So have a beautiful month. We're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.